Hi, welcome to another episode of Off Topic. I'm Varda. I'm Jordan. Trying to uh, seduce the camera there, JT. Yeah. That worked on me right there. You weren't even looking at me. Good job. Mm-hmm. Anyway, before we start, I bought the greatest fucking shirt of all time. I swear on my life. Well, whatever. I swear I am keeping this shirt for life and I will wear it almost every single day. Right here, look at that shit. Look at that shit. All right, CP motherfucker. This is the first shirt I've ever seen that has a decent looking graphic and like picture, I guess you could say. This is so tight. All right, CP, it's got the symbol right there underneath the letters. Oh, it's so tight. I'm getting a tattoo right here. That of right, CP. Yeah, and I'm excited. I'm really excited. He's a girlfriend. Anyway. So the topic for tonight is sex. What I don't like about most people when it comes to sex is that they all regret losing their virginity, especially the girls. I lost my virginity to a guy I loved, but then he walked away from me after having sex. I never saw him again. Good job. And half no, that oh. was... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> What's so bad about that, bitch? Anyway. Punch you. But yeah, side. hey, girls, when you lose your virginity to a guy. And you feel like he loves you. Hey, he wants that lollipop, not you. Tell when is people. when is sex bad? Or when you're choking her and she's crying. So Varda, how many times a day do you masturbate? Mm. Eight or nine. Hmm. Yeah. Is that bad, dude? You should do it 16 times. That's that's a good number. I think I hit a girl's G-spot one time. Oh, yeah, when you hooked it? I hooked a girl. I, uh... Good old... Can't say her name. <laughs> good old... <laughs> All right. I was at her house, and, um... We started... We started, you know... Doing stuff. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> My finger... Just sort of, uh... Enter her lollipop. <clears throat> Vada got some finger action. And uh, it was my first time actually doing that, so uh, I didn't really, you know, I, were they supposed to yell? Are they supposed to yell? Are they supposed to bark? I mean, what are they supposed to do when when that happens? I told you. I uh, know. And anyway, <laughs> I uh, just kind of slipped it right in there, and and now and now then I don't know where I go. Bah! <laughs> And he hooked it. His, and, uh, his I hooked her. I got in her and I hooked her. Literally, she yelped. She yelped. She goes, ow! Or she said, she did something like that. That was a good one. <laughs> How'd that go again? She yelled. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. But she yelped. Was... And I go, is that a good yelp or a bad yelp? She goes, <sighs> she started doing that. I was like, she's like, ah, uh, I don't know. I was like, okay, let me try it again. She goes, no. I go, oh, all right. And then we just finished watching Full House, and that was it. Okay, I have the greatest story ever. This one's true, I swear. Okay, I'm bored. I figured, let's go pick up some chicks. So I go to this retirement home. I go in there, and I'll start walking past some of the rooms. I swear to you, there was this guy in his room in his room. Getting a sponge bath. And in the middle of the sponge bath, dude is beating off like a motherfucker. This old man is seriously going at it like there is no tomorrow. Ah! Touch it for me, Nas! Touch it for me! Ah! Only a more old man voice. So anyway, I run to one of my friends there. Her name's Amber. And Amber tells me he's like the old man pervert of the retirement home. And he yanks it like 18 times a day. It's like all he lives for. So, hey. Moral of the story, don't get AIDS. My butt's so irritated because I wore these all day. It's girl underwear, by the way. My butt is so chafed, it's, it's Put those unreal. fucking things away. Dear God. Put the... Look, it, it loops around my ears. 
You're a dick. Another Damn, stairs. how do you wear those things? Those things gotta suck. Dude, it hurt my butthole as soon as I like, know. Like, raw. Like, I'm gonna have to go home. Grandma, get the lotion! I'm gonna make her apply it to my butt crack area. Yeah? You're Unless, a good grandson. I don't know. Dude, I can rob a bank like this. You could totally rob a bank like that. They wouldn't know who the fuck I was. Well, they wouldn't care because they'd be like, who the fuck actually wears a thong to rob a bank? <laughs> mm. Alright, listen. Keto walks around his parents having sex and he's like, ah! So he runs out and his father's like, oh shit, I better go talk to little Yemeni and calm him down. <laughs> <laughs> and his father, his father's like, alright, he gets his stuff on and he walks out the door. When he enters his son's room, his son is fucking his own grandma. And his dad's like, ah, what are you doing? And the kid goes, it's not so funny when it's your mom, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. I think it's a funny joke. Anyway. I don't get it. Have your parents ever walked in on you masturbating? Actually, yes. I've never been caught yet. I need some My wood. Step I need some, I'll be right back. I go knock on wood. You tell a story, whatever you want to do. Alright, he's gonna go knock on some wood. My stepdad. What? No, JT, don't chase the fucking squirrel. Dip. I told you to chase the fucking squirrel. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> so he's out looking for me right now. His stepdad walked in on him masturbating. Right as he come. You're a real fuck, you know that? You watch your mouth, mister. Chasing a fucking squirrel. And it ran away. No shit. Anyway. Climbed up in this little tree home full of uh, Chewbacca's and the little, little gremlins and chipmunks as well. A chipmunk anyway. is a gremlin Chewbacca bastard child. One time when I was, when I finally just came. They have a crotch pocket in these panties. Out of nowhere, started thinking about an ocean with a dolphin in it. So, so I go to look it up online. Turns out that it turns out that a dolphin swimming in the ocean means that you are a free spirit, aching to break loose of your virgin childhood regrets. What the fuck does that mean? People think that I can't see them, but I can. I know, he's so good at that. I know, right? You're so good at that, JT. I know. You're so good at that. I know. Mm -hmm. But, also about sex. Dry humping. I heard dry humping is good. Your thoughts? The camera's this way. Because you can see. But, what are your thoughts on dry humping, JT? I think it's weird and awkward. I heard it's very safe and natural. And turn my dick into the hitman that it is. And kill her pussy. That's uh, an extreme view there. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fuck! I mean, what are you doing? You look like the fucking, the uh, fucking, uh, fucking, uh... Fuck! Only man I can think of that can play with a thong for like... 20 minutes well, you still kind of and just not stop Shit, I'm a fucking terrorist Not really. I'm just JT but, uh, yeah. I mean fuck Sorry. <laughs> 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 That one just slipped right out of there. I don't know Sounds like oh no So like butt crack in here. Oh, what's crazy? Fuck this shit, it's my butt crack in there. Anyway, we're out of time. Thank you for watching, for those of you that have power. Guys, give me fucking money, you assholes. I don't know. And uh, thank you for watching, but uh, hopefully you'll have internet connection so you can watch this superb, life-changing episode that it is. And, uh, yeah, I am Varda. Go fuck yourselves, I said to the man. He is JT, and uh, we will see you next time. Black power. Accidents out on the highway to somewhere